Hi folks, I'm Sinead Kennedy. I'm a physical therapist, yoga teacher, Pilates instructor, and also a personal development coach. I hope that you enjoy these videos that I have made for you. However, I would advise caution with any new exercise program. Please do consult with your doctor before attempting any of these exercises. If at any stage you feel sick, unwell, in pain, pins and needles, please stop immediately. If in doubt, please leave it out. There's absolutely no point in hurting yourself. If you have any questions, you can also comment down here and I would really love to hear what videos you would like to see. So please also comment below to give me some ideas. Enjoy and stay safe. Hi everybody, so today's video is all about our hips and our hip flexors. So um, most people are sitting down all day, so that means that the hip flexors are uh, being cut off and the circulation, they're getting nice and tight. As you know myself, I'm a very big cyclist, so again, I'm always on the bike, I'm hinging forward and my knees are coming up. So again, hip flexors getting nice and tight there. So it's incredibly important that we stretch out our hip flexors. And when I asked you all for your suggestions, hip flexors was actually the biggest one that I got. So hip flexors, just to explain to you, they actually start here in our lower back, in our lumbar spine. They're coming down and through the tummy, and then they're coming in at the front and down into the groin. So you might have heard of psoas or iliacus, and people always think about those for stretching, but don't forget we have to get the upper part of the hip flexor and get into that back attachment. So we're gonna be doing lots of lifting up through the chest as well. So the first one that we're gonna do is just nice and easy. Um, if you can't sit on the floor comfortably, get yourself a block or some cushions and you can sit up. Um, that just helps, you know, if you're incredibly tight, incredibly stiff, you could also sit on top of a second one if you needed to. So we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. And I'm just gonna very gently just wake up the hips. So as you can see, I'm just opening and closing my knees, sort of like little butterflies here and that's just waking them up i'm just warming up the area warming up the joint obviously we never go straight into stretching without having some movement in the joint we need to lubricate it and we need to prepare it for what's coming up so this is just a really nice one just wakes up the whole hip joint and we're going to think about inner thighs as well in just a moment and we're going to take a really nice big inhale and as you exhale, just gently push the soles of the feet together and try and just gently open out the knees. Now folks, I have seen a hundred times in class, everybody hanging and looking at their feet. You don't need to see your feet. You are just feeding per posture by hanging, okay? Try and sit up straight. Think about having a lovely long line lifting up through the crown of the head. And just, you know, you can feel, hopefully, get some body awareness and hope, hopefully you can feel what's going on in the groin. If you've had hernias, etc., please, please, please back off. If there's any shaking, any shuddering, back off, okay? This is just a warm up, this is nothing, okay? So please, please, please take it easy. Okay, and again, we're just letting gravity do the work here for us. And you know, there's loads of different ways we can warm up, but this is just a really nice, simple one. And it'll take us nicely into some of our hip moves. So just breathing into it. Just stay here for a few moments. Just let gravity do the work. That's it. And as you can see, I'm just very gently butterflying out the knees. Take a big inhale. Exhale, just gently push. So you can push the soles of the feet together. Okay, if this is too much, just literally sit there and gravity will do the work for you. My hips aren't the most mobile, I'll be honest with you. Okay, I've had uh, numerous problems over the years. I had a dislocated hip as a youngster as well. So, you know, I'm always very cautious about my hips and then slowly does it release it all right so we're going to pop down um i can sit on the floor quite comfortably here okay and what i'm going to get us to do is we're just going to start to again maneuver the hips so as you can see i'm rolling the knee in and then rolling it back so just try and get some mobility into the hip socket now again, my hips really aren't the most mobile in the world, particularly this one. This one, uh, as you can see, it doesn't roll in half as far as this one does, okay? So try and get to know your body, just see what's happening one side to the other. Okay, so just getting that lovely internal rotation, starting to create an awful lot of heat here in the hips, which is brilliant. 
Whenever we um, boost circulation, we're promoting healing, we're getting a new blood supply into the area, and it's just really nice, you're wakening up the joint, and we're boosting circulation and healing, okay? So you can do a few of them, you might like this one. If you feel grinding, and I mean proper sort of um, like cement grinding, get out of there, okay? You may have, um, if you know you have arthritis in the hips, um, I do in this one, and again, it's not too bad today, but there's some days this one just doesn't work for me at all. So it's about knowing your body, okay? Some days it'll work, some days, um, you know, the same thing won't work. You'll have to find an alternative way to do it. So this is just a lovely one. Now there's a lot of heat into those hips. That's very nice. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into our first deep hip flexor stretch. So I'm gonna take the two legs to one side. And I will be showing you lots of different alternatives. So you can always watch the video through and then discover one that works for you the best. This may not be the one for you today. So we're gonna be working here on the back leg. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push my right knee down into the floor. And I'm gonna find my right hip and I'm gonna tuck the right hip under so you need to find your inner elvis presley here and give that pelvis a really nice big drive up and i don't know if you can see but i'm starting to create length here into my hip flexor area watch the back hand i'm staying on my fingertips and again i don't want to end up having a great hip but a broken shoulder okay that's not the point so push and tuck under and just breathe into it you can play around with it some of you might be able to go a little bit deeper Okay, if that's deep enough, then that is deep enough. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, claw the mat with the back hand, get your bum and give it a really nice big push up. Again, lifting the hips up. Now I'm gonna tuck all the way under, bring the hips towards you and I'm gonna reach the arm up and I'm gonna roll backwards. Now I have a full hip flexor stretch here. I've got the groin and I've got the tummy and I'm lengthening, I'm not collapsing, I'm diving out of my body. This is brilliant, I'm down into my quad as well. Let the head go, whoosh the hip forward, and slowly releasing it down. Now you don't have to do that add-on at all. If you want, just stay here and just drive the hip up, okay? It really is personal. You know your body better than I do. Everything is just a guide, okay? Now well, let's go and do the other side. So these are seated hip flexor stretches and I'll do some standing up ones now in just a moment. So working on my left leg, push the left knee into the floor, find your left hip and we're gonna tuck under. So really give that pelvis a really nice big hoosh up. Watch the shoulders guys, watch for sort of scrunching up. Chest is nice and proud, shoulders back. If this is too much, okay, you can leave it out. I will be showing you alternatives. You could always get some blocks behind you and uh, come down onto your elbows and just relax here. This might be enough, might be too much. Again, just different ways, different ways to skin a cat everybody's catered for. If you prefer, again, we can tuck under. Now, thrust through the pelvis, push the pelvis forward, reaching the left arm up, throwing the left arm overhead, drive the rib cage up, feel that hip opening out guys, lovely stretch deep into the groin, deep into the belly, continue to push forward with the hips, I'm creating a beautiful arch into my back, not a collapse, and then slowly does it, just gently releasing it down, okay, and that's a really nice one, we've created a lot of heat, into the hips. So just give your hips a nice swizz out. Okay, even that's quite a nice one as well, just for wakening up the hip joints. Okay, so we are going to focus on a standing hip flexor stretch. You may want some blocks or um, shoe boxes or something that isn't going to collapse, something that's quite sturdy or blocks of books for this next one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in a standing position, fold ourselves forward, get the hands down onto the floor, and I'm gonna do this side because it's nearest you so that we can see. We're gonna take the leg as far behind us as we can. I'm on the ball of the back foot, okay, and I'm gonna just stay here for a moment, and I'm just gonna allow that pelvis to gently wake up. So I'm not kind of bouncing around, I'm just giving a very gentle pulse through it. 
breathing into it and just to giving it a moment okay so it always needs an introduction okay so think about if you're meeting somebody hopefully you introduce yourself and gently ease into the conversation okay hopefully all right we're gonna pop the back knee down onto the floor so I want you to try and have the back knee away from underneath the hip so if it's kind of sitting here we're not getting much of a stretch so try and slide the leg out behind you now we need to be very careful here on our back so we're going to take our two blocks we're going to have them here by the sides just for them uh, so that they're prepared come up on top of your back knee pad this knee up if you need to or leave this one out completely if you've had knee surgeries Tuck the tailbone under, otherwise you're just going to load the lower back. So I'm tucking under, I'm driving my back leg up into the socket, so push it up. This front leg is pushing into its socket, so we get this lovely um, scissoring action. Now, we have lots of choices. We can take either the right hand onto the right thigh. I'm going to reach the left arm up. Now, here's my hip flexor stretch. I'm going to lengthen all the way through the body lifting through the chest so I'm pulling up and then reaching backwards okay now that's too much for you keep the hands on the hips and just lift up keep the tail under and just again allow it to open out I'm just going to turn slightly more sideways for you so you stay there keep tucking under now we're going to keep our hand on the thigh I'm going to lengthen up all the way up pretend there's a cactus here we're going to go up and over that cactus now if you can reach the block brilliant that's okay dive out of your body now that's gone very deep into my groin beautiful big stretch it's also here into my belly into the upper portion of the hip flexor if you can't reach the block you can keep your hand on your thigh relaxing the top shoulder you could always stack the two blocks up like so and just lengthen here and getting deep into the hip flexor and that's a really nice one it's kind of one of my favorite go-to's myself so obviously we're going to do the other side so take the front knee forward, make sure that the ankle is underneath the knee. Slide the back leg out behind you, scissor those legs, so pushing into it. Bring the torso up. If you have sore shoulders or anything going on with your neck, just keep the hands down. Continue to tuck under, opening out the hip flexor. You can stay here, just breathe. Or you can take your block or just your hand, reaching the arm up in a stretch touch the light bulbs, find your cactus, up and over the cactus, so never collapsing, we are lengthening. My legs are switched on, they're driving into the sockets. I'm tucking the pelvis under, so it's all about that pelvic tuck. Reaching, keep the shoulders relaxed, keep the feet relaxed and it's the squeeze through the inner thighs, and slowly, releasing it and that's a really really lovely one for the hip flexors so last one coming up so if you have a strap handy you can use your strap make a little stirrup with your strap okay so we're going to come back into our lunge take the foot pop the stirrup around it Take the band overhead, tuck the pelvis under, and then just slowly does it, guys, draw on that strap. And then we're pulling up. Okay, you could always hold on to the radiator, um, or if you prefer, you can do this one standing up against the wall. Again, it's the push under. It's not about getting the heel to touch the back side, it's about tucking the pelvis under. Now that's a really deep stretch into my hip flexor, into my quad. We never force anything. Again, if you wanted to, you could take it up with the arm. You don't have to, there's enough going on here. Continue to push forward with the pelvis, breathing nice and deeply. I'm keeping those legs switched on. 
And then to release it, just let go of the band and the foot can lower down. So let's just do that on the other side. So once again, get into your nice lunge position. Take your stirrup, make sure that you hold on to something. Okay, you can use a dressing gown cord here. Anything that's long enough to give you a nice reach. Tuck under, watch for collapsing into the back, guys. Tail is under, legs are nice and strong. And once again, we're taking the band over the shoulder and just gently drawing it up. If you prefer to do this and hold on to something, you could put a chair here or you could do it standing up. You could be standing on this leg. Don't worry about getting the heel and the bum to touch. Rather, tuck the pelvis under. There we go. Now I'm deep into it. I'm driving the pelvis under and getting that lovely hip flexor to open out. And just breathing into it. That's it. And then slowly, once again, just release it. Okay, so just coming back down onto the floor. Those hips. I really like this one where we started off and I'm going to take it into a deep hip flexor stretch. So we're going to roll one leg in towards us, the back hand is on the floor. We're going to lift up through the hips, push and then coming up into a lovely dive back guys. As you can see the pelvis is pushing up and I'm going into a lovely back bend. This is a lot easier than it looks, trust me, okay? You're just going with momentum. Keep the back hand protected, up push. My hip gave a nice crack there, so that's good. Everything's waking up. Slowly releasing it down. We'll do one more either side. So just a nice big roll. Drive up with the back side. Great big push up and slowly releasing it down. Protect that wrist. Use your finger pads. Love it. I love this one. It's waking up the whole groin, waking up the back and slowly release it down. Now we've only spent a couple of minutes there. My hips feel lovely and warm. I've put a lot of circulation into them, promoted a lot of healing. We've opened out the joint quite a lot as well. We've got a lot of movement into the joint. So lots of nice benefits. So I hope that you enjoyed this hip flexor stretch. It's particularly important for anybody who sits at a desk Anybody who sits at a desk and cycles, you especially need to be doing this one, okay? Because you have a double whammy there. So please make sure you look after your hip flexors, particularly if you want to get up from the desk and go for a run, okay? That you can't because you've been sitting down all day. We need to get the body open. We need to lift through the chest. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There's plenty more videos coming over the next few weeks. You can also go back and have a look at some abdominals, some nice shoulder stretches. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, you can Twitter me, you can Facebook me, you can email me, you can uh, find my website which is www.sineadekennedy.com. So I hope that you've enjoyed these videos today and I look forward to making some more for you. Smash the like button, don't forget to share it and don't forget to do it.